So next we have a different scenario. Now we have a 12 year old boy who's referred with an eight centimeter paratesticular mass, which was biopsied at an outside hospital through a transcrotal approach. Review of pathology reveals a fusion negative embryonal rhabdomyosarcoma. Daniel, what factors are associated with increased failure-free and overall survival in paratesticular rhabdomyosarcoma? Fortunately, uh, the paratesticular location for rhabdomyosarcoma is a favorable site of disease. And as a result, the overall five-year outcomes are excellent with overall survival uh, exceeding 94% and a progression-free survival exceeding 87%. However, children greater than 10 years of age, uh, those with tumors greater than five centimeters in size, and those with retroperitoneal lymph node involvement, uh, these comprise a subset of patients with a poor prognosis. In this uh, case scenario, this patient's age of 12, uh, the tumor size of eight centimeters are associated with worse outcomes, and his retroperitoneal node involvement uh, will need to be assessed. So for this patient, what imaging studies would you next obtain? is a little bit institution specific, but in general, uh, cross-sectional imaging of the chest, abdomen, and pelvis is needed. A chest CT is used to evaluate for any uh, pulmonary metastasis, and the abdomen and pelvis can need to be performed with a CT or MRI. Uh, my institution orders a uh, FDG PET CT uh, on all patients, a full body uh, PET CT, and this is to look for any metastatic or regional involvement. Uh, as in extremity tumors, the uptake of FDG in the nodal basin, it does suggest metastatic disease. Um, but however, the results of the PET CTs are a little bit hard to interpret. The absence of PET positivity does not rule out nodal involvement. And even the positive findings on PET CT does not guarantee nodal involvement as well. Uh, as uh, Emily uh, talked about before, uh, the studies comparing uh, PET to sentinel lymph node biopsy has been performed. And what they found is that of seven patients who had bi biopsy proven disease on sentinel lymph node, that three of these actually had normal FDG PET scans. In 14 patients that had uh, PET CT showing findings concerning for disease, only four of these were proven to have nodal disease. So the positive predictive value of the PET CT for lymph node involvement was about 30% and the sensitivity was only 57% and specificity 52%. All this to say is that histologic confirmation is required uh, to determine regional lymph node evaluation. So what surgical approach should be employed for this patient? So this patient previously had a transcrotal biopsy, which is the wrong initial approach. Uh, this patient requires an inguinal orchiectomy, uh, and that involves uh, early and high ligation of the spermatic cord, and we'll also need a retroperitoneal lymph node assessment. The approach to lymph node evaluation for the retroperitoneum, uh, it has a varied approach between Europe and North America. Uh, historically, routine surgical evaluation of retroperitoneal nodes was not recommended under most European protocols. Uh, however, the current COG in North American approach is to perform ipsilateral retroperitoneal lymph node assessment in all patients greater than 10 years of age, and for patients less than 10 who have enlarged lymph nodes on cross-sectional imaging. And this is based on uh, high known percentages of nodal involvement in older patients. Recently, oh, sorry, recently SIAP has uh, published patterns of relapse. And again, this is from the European studies of uh, looking at patients in whom a non-surgical strategy was used for evaluating retroperitoneal lymph node involvement, meaning it was based on cross-sectional imaging. In this study, they found that a third of the patients that were greater than 10 years of age, they experienced retroperitoneal occurrence, uh, where compared to patients less than, less than 10, uh, experienced this in only 8%. Comparing, uh, combining the results of the European studies with the North American groups in a pooled analysis, uh, they did look at patients greater than 10 years of age and, and tumors larger than five centimeters and found that those who underwent a retroperitoneal lymph node assessment had superior outcomes compared to those who did not undergo a surgical assessment of the lymph nodes. Uh, and this suggests that an approved outcome in this um, demographic with uh, greater than 10 years of age and greater than five centimeters uh, after the retroperitoneal lymph node assessment. 
A recent analysis, it does suggest that the optimal number of knowns is eight to 12 uh, to accurately capture nodal disease. And the same for, um, for extremity tumors, there is a potential role for cell and lymph node biopsy by, use, by the use of ICG. And to summarize, uh, this patient requires, again, an ingle orchiectomy with high ligation of the cord and based on his age and ipsilateral retroperitoneal lymph node dissection. Now this patient underwent biopsy through the scrotum. How should this scrotal violation be managed? Transcrotal biopsy excision uh, has been reported in up to 25% of cases. Historically, <clears throat> scrotal violation uh, uh, would mandate uh, a hemiscrotectomy. Uh, recently, smaller data sets have challenged this practice and that they found that the uh, event-free survival for fusion negative patients that underwent transcrotal biopsy uh, with a subsequent inguinal radical orchiectomy, uh, it was equivalent to those who underwent an inguinal orchiectomy. And that challenges the notion that a hemiscrotectomy is needed to prevent an uh, increased risk of local recurrence. This area still re uh, remains an area of controversy, um, but the current CUG recommendation is to avoid a hemiscrotectomy unless there's direct evidence of scrotal invasion. In the relatively rare group of a fusion positive patient with paratesticular rhabdomyer sarcoma, there may be a role for a more aggressive management of the scrotal violation. In these patients, uh, the hemiscrotum may get radiation treatment, uh, and if this is performed, uh, uh, contralateral transposition of the testicles is needed.